It's been five years since I graduated college and over the last five years, I've managed to land on a high paying job, build an agency and run it part time, pay off all my student loan, buy my own house and have a decent social life as well. In this video, I want to talk to you about the habits which I have built over the years, which has helped me to achieve all the same. Now, I know there are tons of videos on the internet about these topics and certainly I did not wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning. I did not make my bed every day. I did not read tons of books or I did not work out every day as well, although I, I wish I did. In this video, I want to talk about practical habits which I have built, which are very genuine and which has had a very good impact on my life as well. Now, before getting into the video, if you are new to this channel and if you're not one among my 71 subscribers, then do consider subscribing to the channel and turn that red button into the gray one. I'm Lakshman and I talk about business, money and personal growth in this channel. Let's get into the video. So the first habit I want to talk to you is about delayed gratification. If there is one habit I'm going to recommend you to adopt out of all the habits which I mentioned here, it's going to be this particular habit. What exactly does it mean? Well, if at all you want to buy something, all you have to do is just put off the purchase for some time. It could be for one day. It could be for one year. It depends. But just don't do all those impulsive purchases. Now, whenever we get into a job, it's quite natural for us to want to buy more because there is obviously a new income which is flowing in so you want to you know buy more you are meeting new people who are already two three years ahead of you in your career you want to match their lifestyle it's quite common but all you have to do is whenever you want to make those purchases you want to make sure that you really 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 want it and it's not a spur of the moment for example i need to get a new macbook pro the m1 pro processor and i have set a goal that you know, I need to work for it only then I really mean it, which means I need to create like 30 YouTube videos within the end of this year if I need to get an M1 Pro. Now, I may or may not create all those 30 videos, but I have definitely put off the purchase for some time. I'm not going to buy it right away. This means it gives me some time to really think whether I actually need the product or I'm just crazy about it. Now, there is no actual definition here. You can be crazy, you can just buy things, but like I said, all you have to do is just delay the gratification part. You have to wait until you buy all those things. The next habit I would recommend is selecting your hobbies. This is going to be really important. You need to have three types of hobbies as they would recommend. The first one is to educate you. Now you need to build up something. For example, I would go through YouTube tons and tons of time. Like watching online content is one of my biggest hobby and I kind of learn about everything that is available online. If at all there is something I need to do, then I would just go and Google it or, you know, search on YouTube, like how exactly I can clean things better. Any simple things which you can imagine about, I'll just go ahead and Google it to learn new things via videos it also serves as an entertainment purpose as well which is the second part of the hobby you need to have something which would also entertain you so watching online content on youtube is kind of my entertainment as well as education as well the third one obviously is for your mental health now this can be sport this can be meditation like whatever that can he keep you mentally free you know it just calms you down overall so it could be any of those habits whether it is gym or sports or if it is also going to help you uh, help you maintain your physical health then obviously it's a double bonanza so make sure you choose the right hobbies and stick to it for a period of time the third one is buying things that adds value now this is a little confusing so let me break it down whenever you want to buy something we always consider the aesthetic appeal of this thing more than the functional value one of the best examples I can give you is the recent advertisement program run by Payless. Look out all the shoes from the Payless store. They just created a new showroom in a shopping complex and they advertised it as, you know, fancy shoes or designer shoes. The markup of all those shoes were kept up to 1,800% and all the influencers were invited in order to shop there. And everyone was convinced that, you know, this is a luxury brand, this is a designer brand and everyone was happy with the purchase as well. While at the end, Payless revealed that, you know what, this is just a normal pale issue and it's not a luxury brand it's it's just goofed up you know and this is exactly what i mean so when you buy something obviously there is a brand fever and you want to go for the brand and that's totally fine but 
your priority should be on the functional value. So it's important that you consider the functional value of whatever things you buy more than the aesthetic appeal, what the brand or, you know, how it looks and all those stuff. The fourth habit is learning personal finance. I cannot stress how much important this has been you know in my life probably until 2020 even though i started earning way before that i did not have the idea of investing or how exactly the stock markets work or the different investing options available in the market today all the financial influencers on instagram and on youtube who have helped me or who have taught me a lot through their content about the various investment opportunities available today that actually opened my eye and they told that you know there is something more than the recurring deposit and the fixed deposit and that has helped me to increase my wealth over the last two years it hasn't increased substantially but certainly i have developed the habit of investing or saving on a monthly basis so that's something if you can start early in your career it's going to have compounding benefits and if you're someone who is in your 20s or in your early 20s you should definitely start at it right now. The fifth habit I want to talk to you about is creating content online. Now, I personally did not start creating YouTube videos like this is, I'm still in my early stage right now, but I certainly started writing on LinkedIn for a very long time. Back in college, when I graduated, I realized that this is a medium which is kind of booming, like the fact that I can reach out to any CEO right there and he would reply to me is a big thing for me. So I understood the value of the platform. I started creating content there. I did not care whether I'm right or wrong. I'm just a kid who is out of college. So I just went out and started creating content. Over the last few years, I've made two job changes and both those job changes came inbound and both of those recruiters have seen my LinkedIn profile. They saw my content online and they thought, you know, we want to talk to you. Would you be interested to work on a project? I don't have to create a resume. I don't have to apply like people are coming inbound. This is amazing. And when I started an agency, once again, people started reaching out to me in order to help them with their business. This is amazing. You know, you're also creating, getting leads for your business as well. Creating content online is an amazing opportunity in this digital era or in this digital economy. If you are someone who is early, once again, pick a platform. It doesn't matter whichever platform it is. Continue creating content for a period of two years. And I can simply assure you that your life will never be the same after that. So yeah, these are the five simple habits which I want to talk to you about. Nothing fancy, nothing, you know, rhetorical, I should say. These are simple habits which I have followed throughout the years and I hope I continue to follow in the upcoming years as well, which has had a very, very positive hype to impact on my life. I hope you guys found this content useful. Maybe if you guys found like, hey, maybe this is something I should try out, then please do go ahead and try out. Don't forget the delayed gratification part. I'm still telling you it's going to save you a lot of money, guys. Seriously. Um... That's pretty much it. If you like the content, just go ahead and subscribe and uh, watch out for the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.